the podcast. Yo, what's happening, people? We are back. This is Stoke the Podcast. This yeah, is Jacques. Bob. And I'm Matt. Well, I'm hopefully Jacques. Hey? Yeah. Unless you've replaced me with some corporate scum. <laughs> it's fucking great to be back. Good to see you, O's. Another week has passed. So, yeah, really stoked to see you guys here. Shot for joining us again. Without you, O's, this uh, wouldn't be anything. So, we really appreciate your support and that. And uh, hope you guys are staying fucking safe out there, listening to some good rock and roll, skating and surfing your brains out. Yeah. And exploring this beautiful country that we call South Africa. Bye, thank you for And uh, yeah, if this is your first time checking us out, please go back to the first episodes. Go see what we're about. You'll check uh, Matt and all these funny little vibes that he's got, what he stands for, what my vibe is as well. And uh, yeah, without too much to do, further yeah. cut <laughs> So guys, yeah, please like, comment, and share. Um, tonight, this is episode nine. Cheers. Bacon. <laughs> You're almost at ten, you silvery, chameleon, vegetative morsels. We love you guys. <laughs> Shark's always got a liner for you guys, so stay tuned it's always a hoot so guys yeah we tonight we got an epic guest for you guys it's always epic that's why i always say epic but we got a great conversation we got alan jones here he stoked. is Dude, a legend what a beast absolute legend stoked to be here how's that fucking beer <laughs> catching yeah. up i'm catching yeah, up yeah, slowly yeah, yeah. i always say to people if every beard looked the same, every set of boobs and bums needs to look the same. True that. So what you're doing is real, bro. We all got our vibe. We all got our vibe. Yeah. Shot, shot for joining us, We'll get us, there. Dude. It's a little less ginger, but yeah. Hey, we'll not everyone trying. can be perfect. <laughs> not everyone can be perfect. <laughs> no, super pumped to have you here. Dude, Thank how's you. the studio? What do you think? Loop Jeez. Evolution Records. These guys are unbelievable. I don't think there's anything like this in Belito or yeah. the country. Yes, yeah. thanks, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, super stoked to have you. Home away from home. Welcome, dude. Thank you. Really Mm. pumped to have you. Yeah. So yeah, we would we'd really like to know all about like what you've been up to in your life. I mean, you're you're a phenomenal surfer. The Oaks love you in the water. They respect you in the water. They respect you around the town. Beast, guys. This is one of the most humble human beings I've ever come across. And honestly, yeah, (laughs) please tell us all about like where you've come from in your surfing career as a grom growing up and then you know loving the north coast as you love it and you know being there for others teaching teaching lighties i know you got a lighty of your own yeah and i see so you're getting him on the board now absolutely so what's it like man being a father and you know being in the water yeah i don't know when you say it like that being a father it took me eight years to become a father that's yeah. a whole other story okay but uh yeah i grew up here my whole life um found the ocean at 11 when the folks moved down to the coast and yeah she's instant love for the ocean mm-hmm. and that's where it started that's awesome man that's wet awesome. and salty <laughs> <laughs> how so every human like should it? be where did you start where did you start sir because that's actually fucking really rad that you didn't actually grow up here yeah you moved down here i mean i that's guess it. 11 is still a lot of growing up to yeah do but uh a lot of the a lot of the ozi are born here so it's it's quite nice to hear from someone that's uh, moved from yeah. From afar. Where did you guys move from? So we moved from, it wasn't that far. We were up in New Germany, Pinetown area oh, as, a, as a really youngster. And yeah, so 11 years old, we moved to the North Coast and found the sea and that was it. Old lady took a, she didn't take a liking to, you know, surfing can have yeah. that negative connotation. You know, oh, yeah. at 11, she wants to know what 11 year old is doing bait. at the beach. Yeah. yeah. Is he, is he getting eaten by a shark? Is he, uh, taking drugs and we're yeah. like no mom we're not taking drugs we just want to be wet you know yeah. just stay in the sea so you know good. all day why your eyes are red it's from the salty Salt. water mom just got out the surf that's it man uh, yeah. nice bro. and awesome. your surfing career you you went on to was it the <laughs> not the QS, but the CT. No, I so so about... I did a few QS events you know, okay. in my earlier years. Um, I didn't have much support growing up, you know, in my twenties. So it was all all self funded. Okay. Um. Yeah. And so you know, makes it tough. Then, it's eh? it's hard. Eh? Self yeah. self funded. Um, underground and, sports are like that, eh? Yeah. Like if those wanted to skate big contests and stuff, uh, they'd have fork out the moolah and make it themselves. The 100%. bands as well. Yeah. Fuck, man, why do we have 
it's, a, it's a tough we, life out there. Eh? First of all, problems, cash? brother. Yeah. <laughs> we want to throw 22 million at a flag. Can we throw 22 million at the surface? Yeah, come so on. So self-funded, that, but yeah. that's dope, dude. Self-funded and um, just, and, and purely, you know, early on in, in school, I didn't even know there was such a thing as uh, professional surfing. You, know, you didn't mm. get paid to go surfing. That was mm. something I just loved to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I sort of twigged onto it a little bit late. Lack of guidance, obviously. Folks didn't really know much about the sea and that. They're not ocean oh, goers. No. So I'm like, w- what I like to refer to as a first generation surfer. So where, <laughs> where your folks know nothing about the ocean and surfing. And yeah, so you become that first generation oh, surfer. I can say I'm one problem. So, yeah, there you go. So yeah, lack of guidance and, and sort of just fumbling my way through trying to be a professional, you know, and, yeah, and that's, okay. that's how it went. Learning and, the ropes as you go. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Awesome. And, and also sort of... Um, focusing a lot on technique and 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 getting that getting the fundamentals right mm. but that takes time and yeah, without absolutely. without focus the time goes quickly yeah, yeah. so yeah. something something that if if you were to have it all over again say you were your manager or you had what would you have what would you have done differently yeah well so so that would that would be it you know i would have had hopefully guide myself to to have the confidence and not the the loser syndrome uh, to be confident enough to ask for what you need as a professional, you know, if you are going to mm. go, you know, there, there were so many times where, where you wanted to do something, but you, you didn't have the, I don't know, for lack of better words, the balls to ask the sponsor, Respect. you know, well, can I have some money? You know, I'd like to go to Hawaii, yeah. you know? Um, yeah. and, and if you weren't the guy back then, like the, the Travis Logies and those guys of my era, you, you sort of weren't on the radar. Yeah. So it was pretty tough, yeah. but yeah, in hindsight, it actually worked out good because I met my wife, had a kid, and we've got pretty yeah. phenomenal ways. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Awesome, man. That's and it. winter's on its way. I'm sure you flipping stoked. Ready for, for that. Yeah, really? ready for that. <laughs> I just want to start yes. pumping sand into the ocean to create some sandbags. I'm so telling you. I, yeah, I check some mom, mumple faces around town. <laughs> yeah, it's big time. <laughs> the last man. thing you want to fucking ask us at the moment yeah. is how's the surf people? Uh, no, uh, let me tell you something. We, we we got chocolate milk, water, and no sandbags. Those <laughs> are moping around again. We got some first world problems here. Yeah. <laughs> and the skate park is filled with mud. Yeah. Can uh, can we just uh, yeah you know, just love on Mother Nature a little bit more? Yeah. So we don't have all this uh, cut because uh, the Belito Bowl's also been full of mud every second bloody yeah. weekend, and that's yeah. not doing anyone mm. any favors mm. either. Bro. Speaking of that, did you see we? Well, uh, we got involved with some guys and we added a little extra to stop that mud from falling down. I did check you guys built up the wall with yeah. the sandbanks and stuff. Yeah. And the lighties getting involved to clean that place yeah, up. Lack, that is eh? the yeah. stoke that's oh, just yeah. incredible, 100%. man. I saw a, a post that was like really kiff. Uh, the rescue guys that were involved with like uh, with the latest Mshloti vibe, uh, they had these uh, Borovos rolls and the lighties had written little notes oh, no and then way. they've uh, sealed it inside the buri roll so like i know i can't read but for some <laughs> of have a buri read a little kiff message from a lighty yes, that's like i mean a, that's yeah. that's a kind of yeah. stories out of such devastation that gets the fucking stoke that's going. that's yeah. what we want stoke we have to spread the stoke and that's yeah. the bottom line eh? that's yeah. why we have keep everyone stoked bloody show and uh, <laughs> you out there we fucking love you and if you want to get involved in something you don't necessarily have to start it yourself. Yeah. You can get involved with guys that are already doing it. If you don't know where to start, go check out a couple of our earlier episodes. We've had some really influential people. Yeah, people that have done the groundwork. Uh, don't have to reinvent the fucking wheel. Yeah, absolutely. It's already there. Mm-hmm. Uh, just got to get a little juicier. So, yeah, go check out some earlier episodes and, and uh, get it, get inspired and, and, and get the stoke going in, in your city. 100%. Yeah, and Al, you, you touched on like feeling your way through professional surfing and funding it yourself. Now, let's, I reckon let's chat about more about South Africa in general. Like, why aren't the funds being given to athletes? Why? Because we are athletes within South Africa are phenomenal. We are, we are flipping good. I mean, every team in the world is like off South Africa. Yeah. yeah. And everyone's moving across the world, like half of our rugby players going to England because of funding. I mean, our funding hasn't been, isn't being allocated correctly. So for as a lighty watching, if he's watching this podcast now, what would be your best bets on or your best advice on just telling him where to start looking in terms of 
him wanting to reach his dreams and getting the right funding to get there. Yeah, it, it's so tough. But I, I think what the guys need to do is it, it obviously starts at a, at a local level and it, it yeah. starts with, with uh, local companies that are either licensed or affiliated to an international company like Quicksilver or one of those right. guys, yeah. um, just as a point of reference. And um, if you want to, if you start locally and you build your, your – um, what's the word um, – if you show them your work ethic, I know it sounds strange because it's surfing. Why do you need work ethic for surfing? Um, but you show them your work ethic and you put the time in, you sort of start to show up on the radar. If mm. you don't go out there and, and seek advice from guys that have been through it, so and, and not everyone can afford a manager, you know, but so, yeah, so, course, so a lot of that's of done through love and, and yeah. you need to look outside of mom and dad as well. You know, a lot of, yeah. lot of kids are looking at their dads for, you know, advice and, yeah. and yeah. some some dads aren't like my dad he was not a surfer yeah. so he didn't have a clue to even guide me you know yeah and i feel like this is for everything in life as well absolutely I mean, not, yeah. just surfing, not just surfing not just sport i mean where you heard the analogy of the fleas in the jar right yeah oh, okay. hey? that's a this great is, analogy I yeah. heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is why we subscribe to <laughs> just deep thought welcome to another segment of deep thoughts <laughs> yeah <Matthew. laughs> <laughs> Take it away, sweetheart. Yeah, there you go. So, so it just goes that it shows that. So you put fleas in a jar, right? And you leave the lid off. The flea has got a jumping distance of, I think it's something like three feet or even yeah, yeah, higher thirty centimeters. So thirty centimeters. That high, yeah. yeah. And um, God, three feet. We're not American, are we? Yeah. <laughs> thirty centimeters. So, Give or take. <laughs> so then, what you do is you put them in the jar. You close the, the lid of the jar, right? They will keep on jumping. But now they get accustomed to the height of that. So when you take the lid off, say 24 hours later. They don't ever jump higher. They never jump higher. So if your parents have been conditioning you to that specific environment your yeah. whole life, you can't expand. Yeah. So now you were saying that don't look outside your parents. parents. Yeah, you, outside, you've got to look yeah. outside of that. And, and, and not to be, you know, I don't want to parents down or anything because sure. parents are the start Absolutely. you know that, that's where you you sort of figure your way through but when it comes to a professional sport specifically surfing if they aren't involved and haven't been involved from the get-go they sort of they they also fumbling their way through yeah, yeah so yeah. it's important to to have the the sort of uh the, the walls or the mentorship to mm. to actually ask advice and actually reach out because mm. you know as a young man I was too nervous to reach out, yeah. if that makes sense, yes. you know. So for the youngsters out there, you, you need to reach out and you need to put yourself out there and actually say, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Write it down in a book. Yeah. Tick it off, you yeah, know. Yeah. If you don't write it down and it just floats around in your head, mm. you you, mm. you don't actually get to that yeah. uh, that goal checked off. Yeah. Now, this is something super interesting. Man, you are… I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. just going to… Oh, I'm just going to be writing just, shit down. Just write shit down. I'm just going to be listen. writing down. Just get through traffic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that works. I make promise sure you. Make sure there's sandbank available. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> make sure my bearings yeah. are ready to go when the mud is out. Yeah. Make sure so your I'm ball down. bearings are greased up. There you go. <laughs> Stay greased. I'm <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, you like leading a, uh, a really healthy lifestyle at the moment. I was super intrigued bumping to you at the beach the one day and you were This is a about, smoothie, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to send a smoothie. Super fucking awesome. yeah. <laughs> You guys should, we've actually got smell vision so if you go up to the screen right, Josh, can we just activate that? Yeah, there you go. Just wait, just wait. That's it. So now he's activated the smell vision so if you actually go up to the screen, very interesting this, first, first of it's gone, Scratch up to the, uh, you'll actually get the smell of what that smells like. One of those scratch and sniff cards. Smell what that yeah. smells like. You'll, you'll actually get that smoothie coming right through there. So, this is also Love a smoothie. It. Interactive podcast. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> as I was saying, healthy um, lifestyle. Yeah, you were living a, you're busy living a really healthy lifestyle. Now, you've, you've gained lots of personal experience through obviously trial and error, may I call it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's how we learn. Yeah. That's amazing, yeah. And so, yeah, just run us through a bit of your routine um, on Instagram, your social medias. I see you doing a lot of physical exercise, and I'm sure you're combining that with diet. Yeah. So, it's funny you say smoothie. So when when people say healthy living, the, the first thing they they roll into is a smoothie. So mm. it's like a fruit smoothie or something oh, like that. Oh, that's just my nickname. No, no, <laughs> this is a beer. 
<laughs> no, this is a fucking beer. No, no, no. My my nickname is Smoothie. Smoothie. Uh, okay, no, sorry, sorry. My no, mistake. Fuck that. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I'm stoked. Cheers. Enjoy. I love you guys, man. Cheers. Pour right, yourself so another one. Yeah. Kind friend. <laughs> Yeah, so so that's immediately and and yes, that's that's a small part of being healthy and and obviously eating healthy. But um, I don't know where it started. I sort of went down a bit of a rabbit hole, as you can do online, and mm. and speaking to to people and and following people, um, not like a sheep, but following people on Instagram. Mm. And sheep are kiff. Yeah, yeah, they are. They move in packs. No, they kiff. Shout out to the sheep. <laughs> they taste good too. Um, so, so the, the way I went, uh, sort of, um, down the rabbit hole as far as diet goes and nutrition and, and healthy living goes mm. is, is that I, I sort of started to focus inward and I went through a bit of a bad patch health wise. I was low on iron. I was like, when I went to the doctor, I said, how can I be low on iron? You know, I eat lots of spinach. Um, I'm taking my supplements and the doctor was like, well, you're so, f you're so low that no amount of spinach or supplement can bring it up. We need to get you on an oh, iron treatment. So that, oh. that was sort of my, my trigger to go down the rabbit hole and, and figure out what was going on. Because as far as I was concerned, I'm a, I'm a healthy dude, you know, mm. as far as I can remember. But I started to not be healthy and I was low on iron. My joints were, were starting to ache and that might be a little bit of age too. But <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so so – that took me down the rabbit hole, got on some iron treatment, started to look into diet and, and how I was eating and sort of an, analyzing my own diet, day-to-day -day diet. And yeah. I sort of was walking around with blinkers on thinking, oh, I eat healthy, you know. I'll be real. Um, lean meats. So I was on the chicken, you know, lean chicken and pork and without, without realizing it because I wasn't preparing most of my own meals, my wife at home would, would cook. Not to say thanks she wasn't. Thanks to all those moms. Thanks to all those, those moms. Yeah. Cooking. Not that she didn't cook well. She cooks amazingly. But I was on I was on a lot of vegetables um, and lean white meats, so zero fats, zero very little red meat and that sort of thing. And yeah, so when the the health issues started coming, then then I started taking a bit of collagen and that sort of thing. And and the collagen, not realizing it's not collagen for your lips, by the way. You know, like the ladies yeah. use it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's actual collagen from from an animal. And when I I was just one of the, the dietitians said, yeah, have collagen's good for you. It's good for the cartilage, good for the joints, good for you. You know, it's in everything. It's in your hair. It's in your beard. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Now I'm fucking stoked yeah, on collagen. Like, yeah, bring oh, that yeah. stuff. Stoked in the beard. But not realizing that collagen is actually, it's actually, it's, it's animal based. So right. it is, it is the, the, literally the marrow and middle of animal based bones. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so I was like, oh well, then I can. Why, why do I have to take the powder form? I can get it from the animal. So I sort of went down the animal-based uh, diet, which don't tell too many vegans that because that that yeah. opens a, a can of worms. Because there's a there's a general movement nowadays yes, yes. to go vegan. There's a very big push. Yeah. Jump on Netflix, you'll see it. Sure. You, you know what I mean? So you kind of living on the fringe when you tell them you're eating an animal-based diet. Right, so, right. And that's kind of where I went with, with my diet, onto yeah. an animal-based diet. So that meant a lot of red meat, but not lean red meat, a lot of high-fat red meat. So they'll tell you, don't eat red meat, gives you a heart attack. Mm. Don't eat, um, what do you call it, um, too much fat, specifically mm. monosaturated fats. Uh, stay on the polyunsaturated fats, you know, the margarines and the heart foundations yes. and that sort of thing. So... And I sort of thought I was doing the right thing by going that route. And then I, when I got onto the animal-based diet and, and started to figure out that actually monosaturated fats were actually good for you and created energy yeah. and worked, you actually don't realize it. You think by eating high fats, you're going to put on more weight and, and it's, it's not going to be good for you, but it mm. actually goes the other way. It actually, you, you, you teach your body to become fat adapted and right. you actually use that as energy as opposed to muscle mass. Okay, so your body says, okay, this is the fats, let me burn this yes. instead of your muscle that's it so right. it's, a, it's a long story and and there's a lot more sort of technical aspects yes. to it but sure. yeah so i went down that rabbit hole and and it was for me life-changing uh that's careful. yeah as i got older i spent a lot of time surfing so I, I said to myself you know in my own head i don't need to train what do i need to train for i spend four hours in the surf every day you know mm. that's that's training in itself but i didn't realize that obviously with the wrong diet i was spending four hours in the surf eating the wrong foods, losing muscle mass, relying on joints, achy hips, achy knees, cartilage yeah. started to blow out. I started to really just go down a, a bad sort of way. 
and 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 a surfer that can't surf is a like You're a bear right. with a sore yeah. tooth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we talk like about it till, yeah. <laughs> And you know what? We're not here to give like any advice. And, no, absolutely. I'm not a doctor. We're not, absolutely. <laughs> and we always say, go if you're feeling swark about anything, go check a doctor, go see someone who's trained or whatever. Yeah. But it's just so kept to your personal experiences and that everybody is different. And that mm. if you are in this situation right now and you're feeling swark about yourself, you're not alone. We that's just it. need to do a little bit more journey on ourselves. And that's, that's fucking, it. It, yeah. you know what's stoked for you is stoked for yeah. everybody oh, else. Yeah. And, and you love you and you treat yourself like a boss, then you that overflows out of you without trying to sound too fucking spiritual or anything. Yeah. But that'll then seep onto the hose around you. Totally. And, and that that's it. It's it's and, and that's what we touched on at the beach. So so I started to because I was feeling a bit better about myself and feeling healthy and feeling strong and yeah, putting a bit so of more different. physical sort of training into it. Yeah. Um you know, we all we all have this what they call I think it's cognitive dissonance where you you tell yourself one thing but you're actually doing the opposite. So right. you you sort of oh, I'm I'm healthy. I eat healthy. I don't oh. eat that much junk food. Or I, I, I. so we all have that in our in our minds. And when you when you look inside and you start to analyze it for yourself and you realize I'm actually I'm actually not that healthy. <laughs> you know yeah. and. The, the amount of doctor's visits I've had in the last three months tells me yeah. that I'm not that healthy. There's something, you know, start to yeah. start to make a change. And, yeah, yeah that's what I did. So, uh, and and it's been phenomenal. The, the turnaround, I wish I'd known this stuff. And, and that's what we touched mm. on yeah. talking at the beach. Yes. When someone asks me, and, and that starts to happen when you are feeling good and you, yeah. you, you're yeah. in that mode, people start to ask you, hey, what, you, what, what are you doing? You know, what yeah. are you eating? How, how are you doing this? And then you, you, you share you that. Share that. And when you share that and, and it actually starts to overflow into other people, yeah. then the stokes really just yeah, starts to fill up and everyone around you starts to sort of um, vibe on it. So just that's, like that's having this yummy. conversation tonight on this podcast. Uh, recently, I was back at uh, boxing because I've I got a ringside down okay, the road yeah, nice. here. So I do that in the morning and then I'll go for a two-hour surf. Um, but also, like, now I'm starting to question my diet because yeah. I'm also, I've been on the chicken, low fats, a lot of vegetables, smoothie only in the morning type thing. So now I'm thinking, wait, I need to maybe start incorporating a bit more red meat with a little bit more fats. So, yeah, super, super eye-opening. I mean, just to chat to you about it, maybe I should try it and viewers out there maybe if you not change it up fun, change it up change, change, it, just, up. change yeah. it up feel feel life we're all learning for the first time yes. we're all going through this life for the first time like Jacques said a couple of episodes back um and yeah if you find what works for you share it share Fucking it like awesome. i was doing absolutely 100 yeah. percent. we've got to share it and 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 the, the change for me was realizing and when you do start to put yourself under under sort of types of stress like whether it be training at the boxing gym or right. lifting kettlebells or even surfing for four hours it's it's, it's yeah. hard work yeah and when you take food and you you change your mind and you say the food is actually because foods become tasty let's be honest Fuck we eat know. because it's delicious you know what i mean <laughs> that's names, how we eat the names that they add to everything yeah. it's, it's no more like potato salad it's now got yeah it's got a long sure it's got a whole fucking story but i couldn't even say the words <laughs> Or just describing these <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you're 100% correct. So the way marketing. we... Marketing. And the way we've moved to and, and, and started to interact with food, it's for taste. And yeah. yes, I'm not saying it's, it shouldn't be for taste. We, we like to eat cause for the taste. But when you start to take away the idea that it's just there to eat three times a day for taste, and you start to say, actually, it's for fuel. Sure. Yes. And, how do and I want to be fueled? How do we want to be fueled? You know, you the guy, you got the same guys that will drive down the road in this sure. fancy car, and they'll they'll only use that petrol station because they right. only have that fuel. But they'll stop in at McDonald's and they'll feed on that that feast. Fucking and loaded. yeah, and and it's I mean I was that guy. I I, I would. It's eat, convenience. It's as convenience. Well, you you stop in on the road. You are working the whole fucking day 100%. to provide and whatever the case may be. That's up, up, it. Please just tell me you are listening to some loud ass rock and roll on your way to work and on your way home from work. You Absolutely. Deserve that. All you stoked subscribers Absolutely. out there deserve good 
rock and roll so please bang it loud when you do get in that car and you do have that commute before the kids get there before the fray gets there <laughs> before the fucking neighbors get home if yeah. you hear your neighbor playing some badass rock turn and it roll, up their boss is a bonehead they're just trying to get loose <laughs> go take a beer why yeah. complain yeah you take a fucking six pack of beer you might learn something about rock and roll gotcha. you might learn something Rock, rock and roll, roll baby i'm pumped Come with we you. should have, we should start a band band name if we had to start a band what's it gonna be called uh, and, i don't know they, it might already be there but uh, the meatheads the meatheads, the meatheads. <laughs> the meatheads. i don't know is that already a band the, me, the meatheads <laughs> sounds similar to meatloaf yeah <laughs> yeah it could be it could be saturated fats yeah there you go monosat let's call yeah. ourselves the monosaturated fats we could be so, two men in the puppy <laughs> <laughs> two beards in the pup hey like, <laughs> that's it that's S- it dirty sanchez address, hey? and the labrador yeah, <laughs> yeah. what you what do you what, what instrument would you play Ah, she's. I've actually got a bone to pick with my old man because he plays the drums really well and he never okay. taught me. What? Yeah, he needs to that, pull uh, in, yeah. yeah so I'm, he will. I'll, I'll get so him to So you on the drums? Jamming. What are you I'll playing? be on the Matt, drums, yeah. Matt, what are you playing? I'm singing because, uh, you know, my balls haven't dropped yet. So. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, I can't. The high notes. Uh, I, what I can't, are you going to play? No, I can't because uh, I'm skating. I'm skating. Oh, okay. So I can't pitch out. Really? So I can't be You're in this just going to skate. I don't know. No tambourine. We've spoken about a contract or anything. How these guys skate they want to sign me onto a fucking band and there's no contract now. Nothing. There's a little tambourine right there. Is that it? What, what do you call that? <laughs> Grab that thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. No, tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should. We shouldn't start a band. We, guys, we're not going <laughs> to start, start a start band. band. We're not going to start a band. We're going to carry on going with the fucking Stoke podcast, bro. We, we love it, hundred percent. Yeah. Wisdom. Awesome. Leave the O's with some wisdom. Some pulls of wisdom. Pulls of wisdom. <sighs> Stay so wet, stay salty, and eat meat. There we go. There stay we salty, go. <laughs> stay salty. Get in the water. Anything you're looking forward to in the next couple of days? What are you up to? Are you going away? I'm not going away, but uh, you know, my wife doesn't like it. But uh, this time of year, May, June, July, we stick around the coast. Oh yeah, so this is our Hug winter the, time. This is our season, Hug baby. This is it. This Hug is it. It's our season. Get some coffee and some suit, flasks. Yeah. Coffee. Get some coffee and some flasks. Get some um, other recreational activities going and spend some time on the beach. It's such a magnificent time on the beach at mm-hmm. the moment. Winter is a, 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 such a special time in KZN mm-hmm. and uh, throughout Africa, but especially KZN. So please get onto the beaches. Uh, take a fucking bag. Take a bag with you when you go to the beach and pick up that shit around you, please. Yeah. We fucking mm-hmm. beg you. Keep them clean. The earth keeps us stoked. Without the earth, we wouldn't have beaches to ride. 100%. We wouldn't have skate parks to skate. We wouldn't have fucking mm. legs to operate with. Preach. So we Preach, love you brother. guys. Preach. This has been another. Dude, awesome. thank you for it's taking a pleasure. time out. Bro. I appreciate thank you guys you having me. Yeah. Thank you very and, much. And, 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 yeah, I'm glad I could come on and this place is sick. And the, the podcast people, is dude. stoked. Thank you. Stoked thank you. to be here. Really thank you very much, it. man. Epic. And yeah, you carry on and I'll check Good in stuff. the water. Really. Yeah, 100%. We'll see you around the town. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Legend. Get in the green room, you salty Get in the sex. Pit. We fucking love you guys. Thank you so much. Another, Just another... Awesome, awesome episode, and 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 we couldn't do this without you guys. Hundred percent. Big shout out to Caden, Josh, Thumbs, Backyard Bay. Check these kiff caps. We love right? it. Yeah, the right t-shirts that we're wearing. The guys have got some new threads. Coming Makes my soon. nipples look good. It's so lacquer. We love yours. Take care of each other. Love yourself. And get in the fucking water. Cheers, cheers. I'm feeling kind of like stoked.